Okay, go ahead and open up questions for Coach Wilcox. Justin, can you uh, talk about the slow start and sort of what do you think happened and, and, and what you thought of how your team sort of responded from that? And you got to give UC Davis credit, and our team knew, and we knew they're going to come in here to win the game, and that's exactly what they did. Um, they're really well coached, and they got really good schemes. They got a hell of a quarterback. Um, but when you go out for the opening kickoff and you receive and you turn it over the first play, that's about as bad as you can start. Uh, and then the other couple turnovers in the early in the game made it tough to get anything going on offense and defensively just felt like we were and they give you a ton of shift in motion and formation and different looks and just we weren't in sync um but you know it wasn't panic guys stayed with it and nobody was losing their mind they just kept playing and we, we knew there would be some adversity in the game and kind of battled back and got into some rhythm on both sides of the ball and we're able to put some drives together and uh you know throughout the course of the game i think it got better and better really until the end where we kind of reverted back and started getting in our own way a little bit but uh you know davis is a good football team we knew that coming in uh, they compete really hard got good schemes and uh, we just made it really difficult on ourselves at times how did you get chase settled in after such a rough start for him Again, I think just calming down, trusting his preparation. Uh, you know, had the early pick. Wasn't a very good decision there, and we got to help him on the route as well. Uh, had a couple throws in the first half uh, that, you know, where he had a guy open, uh, didn't quite connect, and we'll expect him to make those plays. But he also had some really nice throws. You know, he had a couple to Nico. He had one in the seam to Jake Tonjes. It was really nice. But we just got to continue to build on those, and I thought he kept his composure and didn't, you know, he didn't panic by any means, so nice to see him settle in. He had a couple nice runs as well. Uh, and there was a big one, I believe it was on a third down, we get called back for holding. You know, it's things like that that just, you know, we got to learn how to win. And uh, it's little, little things. But, uh, you know, overall, I thought he, I liked the way he battled back from a slow start. That was good to see. Coach, uh, Chris Brown Jr. had almost 40 touches. Were you anticipating to lean on him that much, per se? Uh, we knew Chris would get the ball a lot. And he's been, he ran like he's been running spring and summer and fall camp. So uh, that's what we expect of him. And uh, he's a big physical guy, and that's his type of game. You know, give it to him and let him break tackles. He's just a hard guy to bring down. So uh, it was great to see him out there. I mean, I don't know how many touches he had last year, but I bet he surpassed him. And, Probably more touches, more yards than he had all last year. But uh, you know, he's been preparing for this. So, can I get your thoughts on Kwani Dang? Coin, like Kwani Coin Dang. Coin, just like flip a coin. It's pronounced Coin. Coin Dang. Uh, I know he was eager to get out there first game. Uh, you know, he's, he's uh, every rep he gets, he's learning something. And so it's, it's not going to be perfect early, you know, in a season like that. But man, he's, he's got some real good traits. He's athletic. Uh, you know, he knocked a couple balls down. He's got range, pass and run. And I think he's just going to keep getting better and better. That's the exciting thing about him. And he's so eager to learn. I mean, the guy eats it up, meetings and all that stuff. He's just a great, great kid. And, and, uh, I think he's just going to, you know, each each week we'll see the growth out of him. Coach, we saw Chase get a few passes batted down early. Was there anything that was causing that, or is it just a mechanical issue for him? Well, it's a combination. we got to get the ball up. And they were, you know, they're some, I call it mush rush. And we've used it in the past where, you know, a lot of quick game where you kind of mush, mush rush and then your eyes are up on the quarterback and you, try to get the, you know, bat the ball down. I want to say they batted the first one down in the, early in the game and then a screen. I want to say three total. Does that sound about right? Um, so, you know, one thing we talked about on the sideline and Coach Baldwin and, and uh, Chase was, you know, if they're going to utilize some of that mush rush tactic to go ahead and squeeze the ball and let some guys get open. And you notice that late on, on uh, let's see, it was the first touchdown to Keikoa, you know, pat of the ball, pat of the ball, let him clear. You know, got a, a good connection there for a touchdown. So it was nice to see him kind of take the coaching 
uh, on some of what they were doing and how to maybe help ourselves. Uh, but they did a good job. I mean, that was part of their thing coming in is getting their hands up and some of that quick game. So we kind of adjusted on the run there and started using some different pass concepts. Yeah, I could, uh, why did Langetto do the punting? Uh, so right now, uh, Coots has got a, a little injury he's dealing with. And so Steven's available um, and he, he could do some sky punting, but right now, uh, Dario is handling the handling the the deep punting, so and he th did a pretty good job. Got to tackle better on punt team. Justin, um, how's Deltoso, and can you just evaluate the play of your O line? I don't know yet on Val. Um, we'll get a report later from the docs, but uh, you know, he's an important guy for us. As you know, it, we're not it's not our deepest position. Uh, it was nice to see McKay get in there and and get a few reps. Uh, to give you a, a summary, the O-line will be a little bit difficult. I think we had some good moments, uh, but there was some some things, whether it was run game or pass game, that I know that Coach Greatwood's going to you know, have have things to clean up for them. Um, and they're an important group. You know, we, we need those guys. And a uh, you know, game, game like today, whether it was you know, quite a bit of run, quite a bit of pass, pretty good balance there. And so, uh, we'll have some valuable reps to teach off of, but without looking at the tape, it's probably difficult to give you too much of a, uh, a summary. Um, two of the areas that you often cite when evaluating performance are turnover margin and explosive plays. You got Can you it. touch on those uh, a little bit? Well, really poor turnover margin. I mean, you all were there. You felt the first half. You felt the first quarter and a half where it just feels like there's no rhythm on either side for us, we gave the ball up three times. It's just really difficult to, to do anything when you give the ball up that much. And so, you know, we had something going on each of those drives. I mean, the first, the opening kick, and I love Ashton Davis. I mean, that guy, he'll, he wants to return every kickoff, you know, and it's unfortunate and he's trying to make a play, but we've got to have better ball security. Uh, so you kind of spot him one right out of the gate and then, you know, we have a chance on zero coverage to make a play, and now Chase has got to make a better decision, and the receiver's got to run a better route, but we also have an outlet that we could have hit. And so, you know, and then Jordan Duncan's fighting for some extra yardage, and you got to hold. That's when fumbles happen. People chasing the ball, and you're spinning, you're fighting. We've got to hold it high and tight and give it up again. So you just feel it's so hard to get any rhythm going. And so uh, from that side, it was poor. I mean, we, gotta, we have to be better taking care of the football. We have to. And we do drills for it, I mean, every single day. And um, if there was one drill that we could do that eliminates it, we would do that drill. But there's not. It's decision making, it's technique, it's all those things. And so we've got to be better taking care of the football because it was four and one. Is that what it was? Yeah, I mean, that's why it felt like it did. You know, the explosive plays, uh, we got a few going. I think we had probably a few more that we had opportunities. You know, McCallan on, had a couple chances. Now throw. We got to be better throw and catch. Um, we had a long run called back on a hold. So, you know, we had some going, but, uh, and I defensively, for the most part, I think we give them a, a big cross country route. They hit first play of the second half, pretty good throw and catch. Um, for the most part, held, held up on defense in terms of giving up explosive plays, but those are the ones. I mean, when you take care of the ball and create explosives, you're going to play good on offense. When you eliminate explosives and take the ball away, you're going to play good on defense. So, but it's easier said than done. You've talked about wanting to create negative plays in the run game on defense yeah. as something. How do you how do you feel like you guys did today? Not great. <clears throat> Not great. And you got to give them credit because, you know, as you probably noticed it Trace, I mean, they give you, I mean, every shift in motion, misdirection, fly sweep, read the four eye, read the D. I mean, they slow you down that way. And so you got to give them credit. Um, a lot of perimeter plays. And then they cut you, and then they throw quick games. So they do a nice job of that. But we've got to create some second longs, third and longs in the run game. And, you know, we, got, we took our shots with some pressures, run game stuff. And, you know, we, we had a couple, but not as many as you'd like. Yeah. Time for just a couple more questions. Yeah, what do you got to work on uh, looking ahead to the Washington game? Uh, how, how, you only said, how long do we have? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think, you know, generally speaking, we, we have to, you know, control what we can control. And it's ball security, right? It's, uh, 
taking what's there offensively. It's tackling and leverage on defense. And we had a couple times today, we, you know, they threw a bubble or something. We came underneath the block instead of setting the edge and using our help. I mean, it's the little things like that. Um, and then let the big, big plays will come, you know, but I think it's just, you know, sound fundamental football. Uh, and again, taking care of the ball on offense, uh, connecting on the things that are there, run game and pass game. And then defensively, it's communication and leverage and the fundamentals of it. And we'll, we can do that. So those are things you can control, you know, and uh, so we'll focus on that. And I think if, you know, big picture as a team is, you know, you get into these games, it's, you know, learning how to win, you know, and uh, we get, had some good things going, but we got to get out of our own way, you know, whether it's a holding penalty or a, you know, a busted run fit for eight yards at, you know, when they get a first down. So it's just all these little things, but Really, our guys' attitude, awesome. Their effort is really good, and uh, we just got to keep working with them. All right. Thanks so much. Good. All right. Thanks. Go Bears. <clears throat>